Right, we're off out for the day. I think we're going to Preston Caravans to have a look at some uh, motos. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> we're heading out anyway, Preston Way, see where it takes us. Might end up at Liverpool. Thing. And the Hoosive thing. Where do we go here? You're meant to go in there now. There's a load of cars. What well, that's all about. Fucking over there, I suppose. Shake from Poppy must be here then. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely got more here than last time. Yeah, it's got some uh, new Swifts with the uh, grey gray fronts on them. Yeah. Oh, good. Should be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so they've got some grey swifts. I wanted to have a look at the Select 122. Quite like that van. They had it at Todd's, but I, I filmed it and I completely forgot to switch the camera on. <laughs> so let's have a look at that. <laughs> 144. You probably haven't got one. We've got some Chaussons as well, or Chaussons. However you want to say them. I, I, do, like like, that I do like the colour, it is nice, isn't it? Not one sold. Okay. This is a one two two. Yeah, I hope you can hear me above the traffic because it's right by the road here. But uh, it's a very nice looking van. Looks a bit cold. Yes, it is a bit frosty, isn't it? Yeah, outside barbecue point. Your water with your pump uh, connection. Water underneath. Shall I have a look in, see if it's open? Do you mind if we just have a look in, Pops? Thank you. Good day. LPG in there. You can fit quite a big bottle in there. Or well, two big two. bottles, yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's got an electric step. switched on. Sure. We will have to climb in. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like these. This got is a really nice a, a two people van, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean obviously because you've got more space at the back here. This great big long sofa. This is good six foot long sofa. Oh it's cold in here. <laughs> and these pull together. So you just slide them across and they stuck the table in here which is on its on its leg but that's not in the way that that's the great thing about that it's about the size of our table as well is it yeah, yeah. notice you can just slide along there it 
It's actually catching against the side there. And you've got roof there. Like the little pockets that got pockets either side for magazines and books. Swift lights in there, but they're not USB lights. You've got provision for a telly there, that's where your telly goes. It's a three three burner gas hob. That's one of the uh, Fetford Triplex grill oven. <laughs> and the wet room in here with shower curtain that's a reasonable space drop down sink oh yeah yeah it's a little bit of an inter interruption there for my watchers and subscribers yeah, no, the washer is quite nice. A little cupboard in there. Sure, I get it. Oh, there you go, just pulls. Oh, catch is broken. People don't know how to open them. That's like that. Yeah, that's all right. There you have cupboards underneath. Yeah. I suppose because you haven't got much of an oven in here, there's more cupboards. Yeah. There's no microwave, I noticed. No. Got a lot of shelf space here. That'll do for your tins. And you've got your cutlery drawer there. God, it does feel cold in here. <laughs> it's cold for a start. Yeah. Sink. Another skylight there. It's quite handy for the kitchen, I suppose. Electric points there. Moving forward into the cab. Obviously, you've got the new Swift cab. Looks a bit more modern. But, uh, I'd like to see it switched on, I think. Yeah, not sure what the screen does there. But... One of the oh, they both swivel the cab chairs. You both swivel round. How could you swivel that that round then? Sorry. I mean, if you could well, I mean, obviously that, you'd need to pull it forward and turn yeah, it round. Turn it round. I yeah. Do that. Yeah. That one swivels quite nicely. Let's have a little sit in the cab. Obviously I can't switch it on, but you've got the new controls there. The cruise control on that side. You can't really see what the dash is doing because I suppose that's only illuminated when the engine's running or the ignition's on. It's got it's got the new it's got visors are slightly different. But the big improvement here I think is pull up blind mm. which means you don't have all this messing about with the mirror worrying about that and you can actually swivel imagine you can swivel your blinds quite easily oh yeah that's better the controls there are a little bit simpler Unit should be suspended vertically and not pushed up against the windscreen. Okay. Well, yeah, I suppose it sticks out a little bit there, doesn't it? Yeah. Controls there are the same. And there, they just change the, the buttons, really. USB and 12 volt. 
and you've still got the same thing for your tablet and your cool box over there so all of that it's pretty much the same. You got a new screen though, haven't you there? Sorry? New screen for the radio. Yeah, yeah, new um new touch well I don't think it's a touch screen, I think it's just a screen, but I don't know without trying it. No. Also over here. Ah, right, okay. So that goes up like that. Sorry, that works. Ah right, okay. Well, takes a bit of get used to. So that covers that over. That looks like it would rattle less to me. So that pulls back, slide it up like that, and then sort of lock it in place. No, that's good. Can't get it back now. A little bit of a panic then, I couldn't get the blind back. I suppose you get used to it. They look a bit simpler, don't they? They don't take up as much room on the side. Bins there. Oh, some. That's just a closed panel by the looks of it. Truma heating and the basic sort of micro switch panel that you used to get. No swift, smart thingy do for. Go on, have a wander around, try and get you in the sun. Yeah, I think we were out in the sun, yeah. Yeah. No, it doesn't look like there's a reversing camera on here, unless I'm missing something. No, I can't see one. So on this side you've got your electric inlet. So that folds out, I guess. Where well, everything's cold, isn't it? The trim event. Wastewater drains there. Fresh water's on the other side. Yeah. We've got shower point. It's fully equipped, isn't it? It's got outside barbecue point and a shower point. I oh, know. We haven't got. No, I haven't looked at the fridge ever. Not quite the clear. fridge was an automatic. Was it? Yeah. Automatic? I'll have a quick look in the fridge. Yeah, the fridge is an automatic energy selection fridge. It's not the biggest fridge you'll ever get, but that'll do. It's got a nice freezer compartment. Above that, I've got a cupboard. For hanging all your gear and storing your cab carpets. And the extra table's in there, so there's a round table as well. So it's, if you don't want the big table, you've got a little round table. I think it's a nice little van. Yeah, so that's the Swift Select 122, and that's 58390. We've got some of the new edges here. We've gone back to this white... Um, Colour. Yeah, completely white. Yeah, I'm, I'm not so keen on that. I mean, they had the the black front, didn't they, for a while? I thought they looked yeah. really smart. This is a Swift Edge. Um, lost it now. Four nine six. Seven. Four seven six. Yeah. Yeah. You want to have a look in? If you can. Yeah, there we go. Do you want to you go in? Oh, you come here. Quite a way up here. Sorry? Quite a way up here. Do you want to take the camera? Go on, you can do it. Okay, so we've got a dinette in front here. Drop down bed. And the drop down bed. Which when we've tried this before, it's meant you can still sit here, isn't it? Yeah. You got a seat there. This is for seats, isn't it? Yeah, it's a double dinette, isn't it? It's quite yeah. nice. Amazing That's how many seats you've got, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously you can, you can swivel. Can you swivel one of the front seats, I suppose? Probably that one. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you wouldn't need to, but just stick to the original. No, but, no. Yeah. yeah. So that that obviously makes into a bed, doesn't it? This. Yeah. Probably using the table. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, and there's a bed behind you as well, I guess. There's two singles that make up into a double at the back. All oh, right. Yeah. So it's quite a high one, isn't it? A couple of steps. A couple of steps to get up. Yeah. What's the kitchen space like? So I might got a three burner hole burner. Actually, this is our cooker, I think. Don't get too More close. Don't get too close. Okay. Yeah, this is our cooker, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We're very similar to. Oh no! Hang on. Cut. <laughs> What's that? It's not. It's not like our <laughs> oven at all, no. Because <laughs> it's only got the combi oven at the top. Yeah. And a big space at the bottom. And a drawer where the handles come off. That's not good, is it? Cupboard. And an automatic fridge. With a double door. Anything here? Yeah, it's a wet room. Oh, so we've got a little locker there. Z bizarre little locker. Through the heating controls and the control panel there. Drop down bed. Slightly different, so cab radio, I don't know what that means. It's a bit more basic. And there's no blinds in here. Notice there's no cab blinds. You've got little press studs for sticking on an internal screen of some sort. Lockers here, okay. double dinette, and a bit of a wet room, really. This is okay. Shower curtain, it's a reasonable space comes out quite a way so it gives you a bit more space. Two steps up and you've got the twin single beds with the centre bit in the middle. It's like you've got reading lights above. You'll see that little reading lights. A little cubby hole. You've got USBs at the back. A little sunroof. Curtains. Nice simple curtains just to give you a bit of privacy. Microwave. And there's your cooker, electric hot plate. And you've got one of these fridges. And I saw these before. Oh, there we go. They just, oh, they just click. Yeah, they just click. So. Yeah, that's it. They just click out a and then it's like a safety latch really. And they open. Uh, and click them back in when you're travelling. Yeah, so that is an auto automatic energy selection fridge which is good to see. And covered space there. I wouldn't say it's the biggest kitchen but Got a lot of beds and a lot of seats in here. Uh, I suppose it's not bad. Not bad. Not sure. Not sure how you get on if you had six people living in here or weight and all that sort of thing because it's 3,500 kilograms. I suspect the payload's not that much. There we go. Obviously, there's no window on the door. All right. Yeah. Shut. 
a big garage by the looks of it. Oh wow, it is massive. That's a good, really good sized garage. A tiny little access door at the other end, but we've got a big door here. That's huge. Yeah. There's your waste water under there. Toilet there. Truma heating. Water filling point. There's no external pump facility there, notice. Lock the cab reason but yeah and if you really want to cover all bases <laughs> get a Supreme 840 towed by an Eldis 185 Supreme so a Supreme motorhome towing a Supreme caravan but meanwhile I've got a Swift Select Compact C404 are these like uh, brushed alloy wheels? Are they alloy or are they? Yeah, I suppose they are, aren't they? They look like they're missing their hubcaps. <laughs> <laughs> they do, don't they? Yeah. That's just the uh, filler caps difference here, isn't it? I suppose because it's compact and yet, yet it has to go along the side. Yeah. Because you've got no really sticky out bits, so that's the beauty of these. Gas locker locked. Of course, it's quite tall, so whether it goes away back, that's where your fridge is going to go. No overhang at all to speak about. No. Provision for bike rack and uh, you're moving up to the uh, the select the select compact. Now you've got re rear view cameras. Electricity point there, and there's your trim vent. Toilet on this side, and your water fill point there. That looks like your water your waste drain there. Should we have a look inside? Yep. So at this point, Jenny's mic fell off. So we're looking at the rear lounge of this motorhome, and it looks like you can make the bed out this lounge makes up into quite a big double I think it looks like and uh, it's across there I think and you've got some cupboards above above there not, not too close so I suppose you made up the lower lounge into a bed but you've also got a bed above it so I suppose that comes down a fair way obviously you're limited by how far the cupboards will drop down and you've got a cupboard with some hanging space in there, TV aerials in there and there's a little table to go with it which I imagine goes in the in the lounge but here's the washroom we've got a really sort of long uh, type sink in there it's got a uh, combined tap and shower head in there it's a bit of a wet room and you've got a sink with a three gas burner and a electric hob and that's a Thetford again with the oven and grill combination as it says and an automatic energy uh, selection fridge from Dometic which is good to see and you've got microwave above it there's quite a few cupboards in this van and uh, got the old plate racks that I recognize And at the front you've got a swivel seat. I'm not sure if the driver's seat swivels as well. I think it does. You've got the passenger seat and it's got this select compact logo all over this seat so you can never sort of forget where you are. Now we just put Poppy back in the van and uh, she's shivering a little bit so we can both have a look 
at these chaussons. This is 61,000, this one. No idea what it is. 720 first line. So this is like their entry level van, steel wheels. <laughs> I've lost, lost you, there you are. So which one do you want to have a look at? You're going up the market, are you? One of these two, I think. Yeah. 